Hi there, uh, it's a tutorial to show you how to create a table view um, and an array and fill the table with information so you get objects on each row <coughs> and then uh, create a second view controller uh, push the information along um, and then we'll go from there so what we want to do first is start a new Xcode project and uh, create a navigation based application I'm going to save this to my desktop as table arrays so now you've got your basic project there. Um, first thing of all, I'm going to go into the .main, the um, .m file of the root view controller, and uncomment the view did load. I'll take that away there. I'm just going to set the title. So self .title equals. Let's put this as a table. Actually, my table. And just build this so it loads quicker later on. Um, and then for the actual table, we need to create an array. So we're going to go to the .h file here. And there's two types of array there's ns array and ns mutable array. And on the first one, uh, you can't actually change the values, you have to reinitialize it with different objects. The second, the ns mutable array, you can call functions on it, such like insert objects, add objects, remove objects, etc. So for future, I'm going to just use NS mutable array. I'm just going to call this my array. And then I'm going to go into the .m file. Before you use the array, you need to initialize it. So I'm going to do my array equals NS mutable array, allocate it, and in it with objects. So I'm going to just do some colours. So do red. So these are strings and you separate them with commas. So red, orange, green, blue, purple. I'm going to finish it off with nil. I'll just clean that up a bit. So that's the actual array you'll be using. For each row, it'll start off with red orange, green, blue, and then purple. For future reference, we may do things like my array, add object, and then you could add something else, say, uh, yellow. So we won't be doing that yet, so I'll comment that out. Now I've created the array. When you click on a table, it initially, when you select it, it goes blue. Uh, it's not showing it there yet. So I'm going to do before I do anything else is self, dot table view, Deselect row index path animated yes. And this is, is given index path which is which contains the row which is loading and the row which is selected. So I'll only deselect the row that you've just selected. And then we go back to the normal table view stuff. So we've got one section. The num number of arrays, the number of rows, sorry. We'll call that from my array count. And to configure the cell, we'll do cell dot text label dot text, and we'll do this as my array object index index oops index path dot row. So that will fill out each row with the color name. If I'll build this now, show you what it looks like. So you get called my table. It's got the color we put in and that correctly fades away when you click on it. So now what I want to do is I want to click one of these and push it to a new view with the title as one of these colours, whichever one you select on. I'm just going to take that away. So what I want to do now is add a new file, a UI view controller subclass without the table view and with, with the nib. So we call this second view controller. I'm just going to drag the dim file in the resources to keep it cleaner. Now, so first we want to import it here. So second view controller. It's now imported. We can use that. So we want to load up when you select on it. So I'm going to do second view controller. I'm just going to call it. 
second view. I think I'm going to initialize it and allocate it. So, second view, control allocate init with nib name bundle nil. And the nib name is the same as the name here, so that's again second view controller. And I'm going to set the title as the color. So second view, set title, and then array object index, index path dot row. Finish that off, and that's given index path, so you can use that. And I'm going to push it, so this has got a navigation control built in when you create a new table view project. So self dot navigation controller push view controller the second view which we've just created I'm going to animate it I'm just going to release it as well oops release for memory management hopefully that should run oh ah, my array and there you go green, purple, so that works fine. I'm just going to change this so you can actually see that it is, in, that it is the new nib file that we're pushing along. Uh, orientation, top bar, it's got a navigation bar. So I'm going to add this is the second view. Close that down. There you go. You can also call it push create um, classes and functions so you can pass in more information. For example, this we could have um, an array of, say, dictionaries. So red may have lots of more information of, say, things that are red. So you could push the dictionary into here and that could load up, say, another. The other table view of information for red, similarly for orange, green, blue, purple. Now, if we go back to the beginning of this root file, we come into this bit out. So, if I add object yellow, so it's got red, orange, green, blue, purple, it should come up with yellow after that. Yellow. And then you can do things like my array remove last object. So yellow will be added and then it will be taken away. There. For other things you want to say edit it, this is where we use this function here. But I'll move that on to a, another tutorial. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back up soon.